This is Tiger Fox from AimlessPodcasts.com. Going to give you a little hands-on with PlayStation Move. So first of all, we've got uh, to calibrate with sports champions. you got to calibrate. Simple process is shown. Here's some archery. Uh, played first with just one controller, one PlayStation Move controller, because I hadn't had the second one yet. And... Uh, yeah, it's it's really fun. It really, really impressed me on how accurate the controller really is. Uh, it's super sensitive to your every move, basically, and <laughs> you can see it. It's it's really intuitive. I mean, if you want to compare it to the Wii, you can. But the one thing, one of the things that the PlayStation Move does better than the Wii ever could do, is is the precision. Really, of uh, I don't have a video of me uh, in, in this uh, showing me, you know, moving the controller around uh, at the same time as, as the gameplay footage, but we'll have that later on. But really, when when you move the controller around, when you move the cursor, it it really is that one-to-one -one precision movement ratio, and, and it's just, it's incredible. I mean, I was e able to, to pick out my targets just very easily, and... It, it felt very natural, and it was just a blast to play. So, uh, in this game mode I'm playing right now, it's basically targets pop up, as you can probably already tell, and uh, playing against the computer, who's also shooting at the same target. So, you got to be quick, you got to be accurate, and uh, you got to have good aim. So, it's it's pretty cool, very fun. So next up in the archery uh, games was Tic-Tac-Toe, and this game, it's so fun, it gets very frenetic, because you shoot the target to put your, your O down, but the enemy can also shoot to block your movements, and it's just, oh, it's, it's a lot of fun, very crazy. In the harder difficulty levels, this is just in the bronze, I think, or maybe it was silver. No, it, it was silver. Uh, in the harder difficulty levels, it gets really fast, and you have to be very fast, very precise, as I said before. Um, but, you know, it's possible to win, and it's really easy to lose. So it, it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice. So uh, especially if you want to try to earn the, uh, like, the five gold, or not five, but three gold star rating. Uh... You've got to make your move quick because if you don't shoot just right, you can miss those targets and miss an opportunity to score. So uh, it was very fun. I think everyone should play it. Check it out. Uh, don't don't knock the the Sports Champions game is like PlayStation's answer to Wii Sports because obviously that's the case, but it's different because of the precision the accuracy, as I've mentioned before. Uh, oh, that jerk. Blocked my... Oh. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah. Pick it up. Play it. Try it out for yourself. Don't, don't knock it until you've tried it. That's what I say about everything. Because you can miss some really, really fun games if you do that all the time. Just like with books and movies. But, you know, we'll talk about that later or another time. So another one of the archery games that I really enjoyed was this push push challenge. Where basically your opponent is on the other end of this field. You've got these targets that are on wheels and you're both shooting at them at the same time. There's a line that if you let them cross, if you let one of the targets cross your line, then your opponent scores and that target disappears. Oh crap, it's moving up on me real quick. Uh, <laughs> and there's, you know, another line on the end of the field where if you can push your tar that target past that, you score and the, and the target disappears. So obviously, you're, you're both shooting at the same target at the same time. It gets crazy, uh, as you can see. There, um, Arrows flying everywhere. You have to... The, the, the better target you hit, you know, like the better uh, mark, like if you hit a bullseye, you'll move the target back a certain extra number of yards 
and uh, like if you hit 50 and they only hit 30, you still gain 20 points. But uh, it it gets really crazy and really really fast, really hard. But it's a lot of fun, as you can tell, especially when you use uh, two PlayStation Move controllers, which uh, you'll see later on. But uh, yeah. <laughs> This was really fun, and, and you, there's a time limit, thank goodness, because you don't have to score all three, but it helps if you do, and it makes it a lot easier uh, on you, because when you have three different targets moving at you, and moving at her or him, yeah, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Playing with one PlayStation Move controller in archery is fine and dandy, but... When you get two into the equation, that's when things get really fun and interesting. And you'll see the video up in the top right corner of uh, me playing with this. Uh, you you knock your arrow. That means you, you put the arrow in flight mode with your backhand. And you aim with the left controller. So the one that's blue is the one that I'm using to aim with. And you have to hold it all the way out, and uh, your your arms can get tired if you, you know, strain too hard. So you you gotta you've gotta hold it out there, but don't you know don't strain yourself. Keep it loose and, and go as fast as you can. It gets it gets pretty hard, uh, and it adds an extra layer of difficulty, but but so much fun. Uh, and challenge to, to the gameplay that's already really fun. I mean, with this one, basically, the, the game mode is if this little screen pops up, you, if you hit it, it blocks, it puts a shield in front of the opponent's target so that they can't hit their target. And uh, you can keep scoring. And uh, yeah, if you don't really pay attention to what you're doing, <laughs> you can mess up big time. So uh, it's again, it's it's all about accuracy, speed, and precision. <clears throat> and uh, thankfully, the the PlayStation Move has everything that you need. You just have to learn how to operate it just the right way. <laughs> but really, it's it's a ton of fun. <laughs> Now, archery is a lot of fun, but it's time to throw down. The Gladiator games are a blast with two controllers once you figure out, you know, what you're doing. Uh, so first of all, you go through training, and uh, this is my first time playing, as you can see in the video. And you have to get into the right stance. You have to move so that the, you know, the right controller is forward and your, uh, your shield controller is forward and your attacking controller is, is on the backhand. So uh, here we have to uh, attack the opponent, you know, five times. And then you progress. Then you have to block attacks five times. And blocking, it's, it's pretty tricky. Uh, you just have to, you know, use the, the controller just the right way. Remember, you've got two different controllers and how you twist it matters. Where you put it in, in 3D space, the Z-axis, the Y-axis, X-axis, everything matters. So you go into the game, and it's time to throw down, time to time to fight. Yeah, that, I don't condone beating up women any time, but now it's a digital woman at the game. So it's my opponent. Um, what I'm trying to do right now is build up my super strike meter, and you do that by blocking attacks. And then once you get all of that meter field in the bottom left hand corner, you can press X to initiate the super strike, which is what I'm doing. It gives you those prompts, you slash just that way, and then the other way, and you do bonus damage. It's all good. So uh, if you uh, try to do a shield bash by nudging the uh, shield move controller forward, you can miss and expose yourself, so yeah, it's, it's crazy. You do jump attacks, and oh, it's so much so much to do. It's, it's very fun. Sometimes the controls don't respond very well, 
uh, what I was doing there when I didn't when I was slashing and didn't attack I was also holding the shield so you can't attack and hold the shield at the same time you've got to let go and uh, that's why I did that it looked kind of wanky but uh, round two throw down um, can't remember what I was trying to do here other than beat her um, just there's so many different things you can do and it's it's a lot of fun just a ton of fun I'll shut up so you can watch this and enjoy this. Yeah. Yeah, nothing like a good victory. Playing this, you you get you can get tired if you keep it up for a long time, but oh, it's so much fun. So, moving out of Sports Champions, I'll give you a short glimpse of Tiger Woods PGA Tour 11. Here is my character that I made of me using the uh, PlayStation Eye. And yeah, pretty, pretty good uh, swing there. Fun. Well played. Now it's all clear from here to the hole. And there you have it. There's our initial look at some of what PlayStation Move has to offer. More on Tiger Woods later. Uh, for now, visit us at aimlesspodcasts.com and listen to us on iTunes. Subscribe. We record every Wednesday. It's up on Thursday.